Hello and welcome to In Affinity. In version 1.9 of Affinity Photo, there are some new effects. So I thought I'd have a go and found a fun way of using it, which is we go to a layer and then there's a new pattern layer. So there I need to create a box. I need to know the resolution of my picture for this. I know it's very high resolution. So I'm going to have to put a... So let's say a thousand by a thousand in. That's okay there. And then you can see the box here because I've got the move tool selected. Anything else and the box disappears. But I have got the layer here. So then if I take a paintbrush, shall I just start off in fact with it's one of the standard brushes here. That'll do. In fact, if I just make that bigger, you can see it's getting dupl duplicated on the pattern of this box. If I draw, then it's going to get reproduced. I can also draw outside the box because when I go outside, it reappears on the other side. So I'm always drawing inside the box because it's get just getting reproduced like this. So I thought, let's try a different brush. So I go from here to the textures brush and just pick an interesting one here and then that's not very bright let's try another one maybe one of these let's paint along here okay oh, let's just make that a little bit smaller i'm just going to paint a diagonal here because when you paint a diagonal it joins up and you've got a whole bunch of diagonals like this. But then what you can do is go to the move tool here and play around with it. You can rotate it or whatever, but you can also resize it. So you can take it right down. So there's just lots of nice diagonals like that. Then drop in something like a soft light so it fades into the background. And when you look at that, it's like looking at uh, denim or something like that, isn't it? So you've got like a material type pattern. So I thought well, that's kind of quite fun. It's quite an easy way of doing that kind of texture. So we could do other ones as well. Let's delete that. Do another one. Layer, new pattern layer. Let's do the same. But you could stir anything like that. OK. And what if I just go into this now. So I can do a woven pattern. Yeah, so I'm going to paint down here and then sort of across like this and sort of maybe down like this and this goes under here and maybe there's something going across like this. I kind of try to figure out what a pot woven pattern might look like. And you can see you end up without even just playing around with it. Something looks pretty woven. And we do the same thing again there. Go to the move tool. Shrink it right down. And just put in a soft light. And then there we've got, looking at this, it looks like it's woven material. So there you go. Very simple way of doing a woven material texture in a picture. That's it and thank you very much for watching.